welcome to the world's most admired wine brands 2022. This eagerly anticipated list is now in its 12th year and it rewards the wine brands that have earned the utmost respect among industry experts from across the globe. Drinks International polled wine buyers, sommeliers, wholesalers, bar owners, masters of wine, writers, educators and other specialists from every continent before arriving at this list. Academy members are each given five votes and they are asked to name the wine brands they most admire in descending order. We asked our Academy members to focus on the following criteria. The quality and consistency of the wine. The price to quality ratio. And the strength of the branding and marketing. The brands featured on this list have earned recognition from the most influential group of global wine experts ever assembled. Being named among the world's most admired wine brands is a special achievement. And now it's time to celebrate their success. Before we begin, we would like to say a special thank you to all our supporting sponsors this year, who you can see on the screen. You can also join the conversation over on our social media channels as the countdown progresses. So, without further ado, let's get started with the countdown of the world's most admired wine brands 2022. At number 50, it's the world's preeminent sweet wine from Bordeaux. It's none other than Chateau d'Iquem. At 49, we have our first representative from New Zealand, a popular and versatile brand from Pernod Ricard, Brancot Estate. At 48, it's a re-entry from Argentina. We have the largest exporter of Argentinian Malbec, beloved by customers and critics alike. It's Trapiche. We move on to 47. It's a new entry for a winery that claims to be the world's first Riesling producer, the iconic German brand Schloss Johannesburg. At 46, from Chile and up two places from last year, it's another appearance on the list for Santa Rita, which has enjoyed soaring exports over the past year. At 45, from Australia, it's McWilliams, the award-winning winery that was founded back in 1877. At 44, from the United States, it's the iconic Jackson Family Wines, which is an umbrella for 40 wineries across California and around the world, though our voters predominantly celebrated the semi-eponymous Kendall Jackson brand. At 43, from France, it's Igigal. The acclaimed Ron wine producer was founded by Etienne Gigal in the Côte Rôti appellation shortly after World War II and is still going strong to this day. And so on to 42, also from France, it's the esteemed first growth Bordeaux producer Chateau Latour. At 41, from Portugal, we have Symington. The Symington family are widely renowned for their ports, and more recently, they are gaining an increasingly strong reputation for their table wines. At 40, up seven places, we have the legendary Raventos Cordonio. Best known for its Cordonio Cava, the Raventos Cordonio group is a prestigious producer of still wines too. Moving into the 30s, at 39 from New Zealand, we welcome Cloudy Bay. Cloudy Bay put New Zealand on the wine world map with its Sauvignon Blanc and it remains a benchmark for quality in the category it helped to create. At 38, we have a re-entry. It's Californian wine brand Barefoot, which has lived up to its name by expanding its sales footprint into 30 different countries in recent years. At 37, from Italy, it's Planeta. This Sicilian producer can trace its heritage through 17 generations of farmers and it continues to grow ancient varieties. At number 36, we have a re-entry. It's Marques de Caceres. A pioneer in the modernization of Rioja, which has won critical acclaim, scooped awards and grown sales in recent years. 35 sees a regular on the list. It's Connoisseur. Chile's largest Pinot Noir producer, which also focuses on Viognier, Riesling and Gewürztraminer. 
At 34 from France, we have a new entry. We welcome Gérard Bertrand. Former French rugby union international Gérard Bertrand created his eponymous brand, but he is now even better known for his winemaking skills than for those with the oval ball. At 33, it's Yalumba. Australia's oldest family-owned winery, founded in 1849, which has a reputation for bringing elegance to Barossa, Eden Valley and Kunawara. At 32, we have one of Chile's heavy hitters, Montes. Led by Aurelio Montes, this forward-thinking winery has a staunch commitment to sustainability. At 31, up seven places, Esperal. This iconic Portuguese winery is based in the Alentejo region and is now one of the world's largest producers of organic wine. We've made it to 30! From New Zealand, family-owned winery Craggy Range. This high-quality brand has enjoyed double-digit growth in each of the last five years and its impressive showing on this year's list reflects its consistent quality. And so we move into the 20s. At 29, up three places, it's Campo Viejo. This Rioja producer is known best for its red Tempranillo, and it also has a steady MPD pipeline in recent years that's included tapping into trends for rosé and alcohol-free wines. At 28, we reach our highest new entry award for 2022. From Spain, congratulations go to Bodegas Protos. The company that pioneered wine production in the Ribera del Duero in the 1920s. 27 brings our first regional award for the most admired wine brand in North America from the United States. It's Ridge. This famous California winery specializes in Cabernet Sauvignon, Zinfandel and Chardonnay, most of which is distributed on allocation to prestigious wine merchants around the world. At number 26, it's Villa Maria. Villa Maria was recently sold to Indovin, preserving the future health of a famous brand founded by Sir George Fistonich in 1961. We've made it to the halfway point. At number 25, up 19 places from New Zealand, it's Oyster Bay, which has been winning critical acclaim and gold medals galore since releasing its first vintage 32 years ago. At number 24 from Australia, it's Yellowtail, which prides itself on creating accessible Australian wines that everyone can enjoy. At number 23 from Spain, we have another re-entry. It's one of the world's finest and most iconic wine producers, Faustino. It now accounts for more than 40% of the Rioja region's Gran Reserva exports, and it is enjoyed in more than 70 international markets. At 22 from France, it's M. Chapoutier. The family-owned wine producer is best known for its core Rhone wines, but it also has estates in Alsace, Roussillon, Provence, Australia, Portugal and Spain. At 21, we have one of the most deeply respected wine producers in the world. From Barossa in Australia, it's Henschke. We've made it to the top 20, and this South African brand has climbed 16 places in the list. It's Bruce Jack, which continues to build impressive momentum after the eponymous former Kamala winemaker founded the brand in 2018. At 19, and no stranger to the list, Felton Road, a business that has been making just 150,000 bottles a year since 1991 but whose wines are highly sought after. At 18, we have another re-entry for 19 Crimes. The innovative brand from Treasury Wine Estates that famously uses augmented reality label technology to reach a younger, more adventurous audience. 17 sees a high climber in this year's list. Up 26 places from Spain, it's Ramon Bilbao. Producing a number of exceptional wines, they are hailed as one of Spain's most innovative producers. At 16, we have another first growth from Botto. It's Chateau Mouton Rothschild, up 19 places. 
Number 15. It's our next regional award for the most admired wine brand in Africa and the Middle East. It's Canon Cop. One of South Africa's legendary wine estates, famous for its Pinotage and Bordeaux blends, makes a well-deserved return to the upper echelons of this list this year. And 14 from Chile. Congratulations to Erosiris. The family-owned Chilean wine producer has seldom been far from the upper reaches of our top 50, a reward for its ongoing consistency and commitment to quality. Now, it's lucky for some. At 13, up 20 places from France, it's Chateau Aubriand. Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, and James Monroe are just three of the US presidents who've been devotees of Aubriand, the only non-Médoc member of the five famed Bordeaux first growths. At 12, we have another regular on this list. From Chile, it's Concha e Toro. Producer of the world-famous Casiero del Diablo and the largest producer and exporter of wines from Latin America. At number 11, from Italy, it's Frescobaldi. There's an impressive rise of 13 places this year for Frescobaldi, the historic family-owned producer whose portfolio demonstrates the diversity of wines that Tuscany has to offer. And now, we enter the top 10. At number 10, we have the winery described as Spain's undisputed equivalent to a first growth. It's Vega Sicilia. At 9, from France, it's up 9 places. It's Chateau Cheval Blanc, which leaves a trail of weightier first growths in its wake. At 8, also from France, it's the famous Chateau Margaux. The top Bordeaux wine on our list and one of the original first growths in the 1855 wine classification. At number 7, up 19 places, from Italy, we have the legendary producer, Gaia. The Gaia family has been making wine for five generations. The brand name evokes excellence, and their refined and polished wines speak for themselves. Number 6, from France, it's Domaine de la Romaine Conti, which is widely considered among the world's greatest wine producers and the top-ranked French wine producer in this year's list. So, it's time to find out the top five most admired wine brands in the world. Number five, from Italy, it's Antinori. Antinori consolidates its position as the top Italian wine on the list. The family-owned producer traces its winemaking heritage back to 1385 and has Chianti Classico at its heart. Number 4 sees the award for highest climber in this year's list. Going up 46 places from Spain, it's La Rioja Alta. In a region packed with winemaking heritage and skill, La Rioja Alta is one of the benchmark brands against which other Rioja producers can test themselves. So, just three wine brands to go. At number three, we have our award for the most admired wine brand in South America, earning a third consecutive top three finish on the list from Argentina. It's Catena. This winery has taken the crown for the past three years, and it has really put Argentina on the map for its high-quality wines. And number two, up four places and taking the award for the most admired wine brand in Australasia, it's Penfolds. Penfolds is indisputably the jewel in the crown of Treasury Wines Estates. That's in no small part down to chief winemaker Peter Gago who marks 20 years in the role in 2022, and a team of nine winemakers. And so, without further ado, we can reveal that the number one world's most admired wine brand 2022, also taking the title of most admired wine brand in Europe, is Familia Torres. 
Spain's most famous family-owned wine company, retains the top spot for a second year running. Having been a consistent presence in the top reaches of the chart for several years, congratulations to Familia Torres! Well, that concludes the formalities. Thank you to our Global Academy for voting and to our sponsors for their support. You can join the conversation now over on our social media channels shown on the screen and read the results online at drinksint.com and in our celebratory supplement. Thank you for watching and see you next year.